Doesn't it? I talked to him, rubbed him on the head. You know, she's just a good dog. These folks oh, aren't God. swooning over your everyday dog. They're talking about Ibo, a robotic canine companion. Researchers from St. Louis University are using Ibo to study how pets, made of fur or plastic, can reduce loneliness in nursing homes. We had previously found that a living dog could decrease loneliness in a nursing home. And so what we were interested in doing was determining if a mechanical dog, a robotic dog, Ibo, uh, could compare with that. For their study, published in the Journal of the American Medical Directors Association, William Banks and his wife Marion brought either Ibo or a real dog, Sparky, for eight weekly one-on-one -on -one visits with nursing home residents. Through questionnaires, the residents gave researchers their perceptions about how lonely they felt. It turns out that a wagging tail is all residents needed to feel warm and fuzzy. Be they mechanical or living, uh, that they can interact with folks and decrease loneliness, I think is something very profound. But the robot may have a paw up on Sparky, since robots could one day be used not only for companionship, but also for medical applications such as monitoring blood pressure. And at least one resident had her own reason for preferring the man-made mutt. Because you can just turn him on and off, and so they stay put. And, and when you want to be talked to, you just turn him back on. Come on, you can make it. I'm Brad Close.